by bacteria, virus, parasites and plants. Roughly 7 million people die of food poisoning every year with about 10 times as many suffering from a non-fatal version. Food spoilage. Food spoilage means that the original nature, nutrition value, texture, flavor of the food is damaged and the food becomes harmful for people and unsuitable for use. Adulteration. Adulteration is a term used to designate that a product is not what it should be from biochemical cleanliness and hygienic point of view. Adulteration in the food is the main cause of food ball illness. In the present investigation, we are concentrating on microbial food spoilage since microbes are enormous and not seen through naked eyes and excrete their effects silently. These are types of contamination and food spoilage. First one is biochemical spoilage or enzymatic spoilage. If enzymatic reactions are uncontrolled, the off orders and off colors may develop in foods and called biochemical spoilage. Chemical spoilage, the reaction of incompatible substance in food or beverage can lead the chemical spoilage. Physical or mechanical spoilage is brought out by temperature changes, moisture and dryness, excessive heat and excessive cold can also cause the deterioration in food components. The most important food spoilage is microbial spoilage. During preparation, such food can be attacked by heterotrophic microorganisms. The unrestricted growth and multiplication of these microorganisms in food may render them unfit for consumption and result in spoilage of food. Now we are taking two common scope or of microorganisms involved in food contamination. They are bacteria and fungi. These are most common bacterial pathogens and these are diseases caused by this bacterial pathogen and these are symptoms which we can, show, uh, we can see after this infection. Mycotoxins produced by fungi are many types. These are the mycotoxins which produced by, myco, uh, which produced by fungi and these are symptoms caused by these mycotoxins. Various environmental factors such as moisture, pH, temperature, oxygen and light and storage facility are the important factors that influence the type of microbial growth. Although there are various acts and rules made by government to check the contamination in edible food items, still lack of proper implementation human health suffers a lot due to food contamination. These are some of the rules and regulations which are working for food adulteration. Food safety management system. In all the food management system, uh, food adaptation acts and rules, this food man safety management system itself is the most important management system in food items. Food safety management system can help organizations to manage food related risk by implementing food safety regulations. According to hazard, there are two types of hazard, biological and physical. In biological hazard is caused by bacteria, fungi, viral and parasites. And in physical hazard con contain physical uh, such as stones, seed, glass, fragment and small bits of metal. With this background in mind we have selected some objective for present investigation. There are some general aspects related to food spoilage. Udaipur city of South Rajasthan has unique combination of tribals and tourists. At one hand this city harbors a characteristic culture of Mewari with a colorful dress and spicy food of tribes and on other hand it had registered its name amongst the top most beautiful city attracting a large number of tourists from every corner of the world. People on desert bed generally use minimum water in cooking and generally prefer butter, milk and clarified butter and spicy food. Further being, being a tourist city, consumption of bakery and dairy products are very high. People generally prefer to eat these items to buy from nearby shops. Keeping the above facts in mind, three food committees got taken into the account. These are to see the extent of microbial contamination. These food products are bakery products, dairy products and spicy. We have taken bread and cake in bakery products, butter and cheese in dairy products and chili, coriander, turmeric samples for spices. The main objectives of our present invest investigation are sampling of the uh, selection of the sampling site, collection of the sample, 
to gather information in detail regarding the hygienic storage and background of vendors or shopkeepers to explore the basic causes of contamination. Microbial investigation in collected food samples to now the extent of microbial contamination related to areas and at last to see the effect of one highly contaminated food on mammalian model must musculus the Swiss albinomys as human health is the main target for assessment of the contaminated food. Experimentals. The entire experimental protocol was divided into the following steps. So in first step we have taken selected edible products to see the extent of contamination. Selected three samples from each food products out of three, two were branded and one was local. Due to legal constraints, we have not mentioned the main name of the brands. In grocery product bread, we are one, we are two branded and we are three local. In cake, CA1, CA2 branded and CA3 local. In dairy product, butter, B1, B2 branded and B3 local. In, C, CS, in cheese, CH1, CH2 branded, CH3 local. In spices, we have taken chili. Coriander and turmeric, according the one and two pro uh, product is branded and sample three is local. Total we had 21 samples. Selection of the sites. This is photograph of sites and all the above samples were taken from the three main areas of Udaipur city. These are the main and popular areas of Udaipur city being used by local people, tourists, students, patients and passengers. These areas are Surajpol area site 1, this is the heart of the city. Udiapol area site second, nearby bus stand and railway station. And Chetak Circle, the third most popular area of Udaipur city, near General Hospital and nearby cinema theatre. First, state information about storage and hygienic point of hygiene of food. This is questionary. Improper handling and storage is one of the important reasons of food contamination. As we developed the questionnaire from the shopkeeper, the questionnaire was complied and designed to acquire the relevant information from the respondent. The structured interview was the method of choice because the interview could follow a well-defined structure, preventing the respondent from own interpretation from the, of the question. It would allow more control over the interview process and people with no or low literacy levels could be interviewed and it would allow the interviewer to explain the question if unclear to the respondent. These are questions we have asked to the shopkeeper to find out the relevant, uh, relevant 